Hi and welcome everyone to this lesson. In this lesson, we will talk about the UBS sizing. So first, we will understand one of the types of the UBS or the working principle of one of the UBS, which is the double conversion online UBS. So the double conversion online UBS has three modes of operation. First mode is called the normal mode, the stored energy mode, and the bypass mode. So here, as you can see on this part, here we have the utility uh, AC power. So we have here the utility, okay, utility, AC power, okay. And here we have our loot, okay, our loot. And between them, we have the UBS system. All of this representing the UBS system. So first mode is the prime or the standby mode in which we are taking the input as it is and bypass it to the output. As this is in case if we have any maintenance inside the UBS or any problem inside the UBS. Okay. Now the second mode of operation is called the normal mode in which we will have a double conversion process. So a double conversion online UBS converts the power twice. So as you can see, we have first the AC input, the AC input, okay, with its all voltage spikes and distortion is first converted from AC into DC using a rectifier. Okay, so the rectifier takes AC input, converts it into DC. Then we have here a DC link, a capacitor DC link, which stabilizes this DC voltage and stores the energy drawing from the AC input. Then this DC is converted back to AC, suitable to our load, okay, using an inverter. This AC can have the same frequency as a supply or a different frequency from the supply as we would like. How can we do this? Using the inverter. By controlling the inverter, we can control the out frequency coming from it. So the double conversion process, first conversion, second conversion, you will see this a lot in electrical power system. For example, you will find the configuration which is called the back to back converters so you will find that we have first rectifier connected to a dc link then this dc link is connected to an inverter okay so we have here a rectifier and here we have inverter and between them a dc link this configuration is called the back to back converters which you will find a lot in electrical power systems. Okay, the same configuration here is used in the UBS. Okay. Now all the power provided to the load equipment goes through this double conversion process when we have an AC input. Okay. Now another thing we should uh, remember here is that we have a battery charger that takes this AC inputs and start charging our batteries so we will have a stored energy in case the ac input goes off or if there is any problem in the ac input that's why this mode is called the stored energy mode so as you can see when ac input goes out of a specific range or we have or a specified uh, specified range or there is any problem in the AC supply, the UBS will start taking electrical power from the batteries. Okay, so we have a DC power coming from the batteries. It will go from the battery through the inverter to the AC output. So it, the inverter will take the DC input and converts it into AC power suitable for our load. As you will see that in many double conversion online designs in the UBS, this transition between 
the AC input and battery just takes several milliseconds. So this UPS will continue providing electrical power to critical loads such as for example the servers. So critical loads such as servers or computers will still be working because that transition from AC input to the battery just takes very small seconds or several milliseconds. So during the transition process, we will have a DC link. Okay, this DC link has a stored energy, but it cannot provide stored energy for a long time. So during this millisecond, this several milliseconds, it will provide electrical power to the inverter, then to our load. Uh, until we switch to the battery source, this DC link will just provide this electrical power required. Okay. So even if there is a brief interruption in power going into the DC link, the UBS output voltage is unaffected and continuous. Now the important question is how can we size our UBS or how can we select our UBS? So, so the first step is that we are going to list all of our equipment that are protected or uh, getting its power from the UBS. So we are going to list all of our equipment like this. Okay, so then for, for each equipment we have the amperes and the voltage how many amperes and the voltage for each device. Multiplying these two uh, values together will give us the volt ampere. Okay, so uh, our UBS is sized in volt ampere. So we need to multiply current multiplied by the voltage to get the apparent power. Okay, sometimes we can have our device instead of uh, volt ampere it can be it can be listed in watts so for example we can have an electrical equipment with for example 10 kilowatt okay this is a power rating so what are we going to do to convert this into volt ampere to convert into volt ampere we know that the power factor is equal to the active power which is in watt divided by the apparent power in volt ampere so in order to get the apparent power, it will be the active power divided by the power factor. Okay. So for example, if we have an electrical equipment with a power rating B equal to 10 kilowatt and the power factor is, let's say, for example, 0.8. Okay. Then in this case, to get the apparent power or the volt ampere, we simply say B, which is 10 kilowatt, divided by the power factor 0.8, which will give us the volt ampere required. Okay, now after getting the volt ampere, here we said to convert watt to volt ampere, divide the watts by the power factor. And for example, for the servers, we have a power factor is often uh, 0.9. Then after getting the volt ampere for each equipment, let's multiply this by the quantity. How many uh, equip of this type of equipment? For example, the 10 kilowatt, for example, we have a three equipment with a 10 kilowatt rating or let's say a 20 kilovolt ampere, whatever it is. Then we will multiply this by the quantity three to get the total volt ampere. Then we are going to add all of this together, all of the volt amperes uh, total together. Then we multiply this by 1.2. So in the end, let's uh, summarize this. So we get the summation of all of the apparent power of all of our equipment, okay, to get the total load in volt ampere. Then we take this value and multiply it by 1.2 to get the rating of the UBS. Now, why do we multiply by 1.2? This is to uh, account for any future expansion. So if we have any future expansion in our uh, equipment, we add 20% uh, additional uh, rating for the UBS. 
This is, of course, in the conventional type that we discussed before, the conventional UBS. In the modular UBS, we don't have to multiply by 1.2. We can say that the UBS size is equal to the total load in what case? In the case of the uh, modular UBS. Why? Because if the load increase, we can add more modules to increase the total uh, power rating of the UBS. Okay? So in the end, the sizing, how can we do the sizing? First, we get the summation of all of the volt ampere of all of our equipment and multiply it by 1.2 for the conventional UBS. Why? For to account for any future expansion.